Howdy, folks. Hugo here. I'm TJ's twin brother, clean-shaven, little to no hair on the head, coming to you with a new video. Thought I'd take over his office here and talk about Nextel. Got it up on the screen here, but I'll do some screen casting of what the heck Nextel is. And uh, I think it's going to be a really cool service for the Spectrum Next computers. The cool thing is I don't own a Spectrum Next yet. I'm on the outside looking in, hoping for a second Kickstarter. If that happens, hopefully I'll be able to connect to this with the Next. Until then, you can actually bring up any old good web browser and go to Nextel and have some fun today. What I think would be cool is to get maybe more people using this. Hopefully some developers uh, that have new information come out with it first on this. Kind of like Patreon. You know, you get the news first before everybody else on YouTube, for example. Maybe that would be a cool way to get more people checking this uh, out. Like maybe a 24-hour head start or one week. Hey, we're coming out with this new game, new program. Have it announced here first so it gets a lot more traffic, which would be kind of fun. In the future, when the next is out and people are accessing it, again, it's going to be a cool way to get news. Uh, I used to love, obviously, at my age, I was on bulletin boards back in 1980, Atari 800. I would connect to BBSs. And this basically is kind of like a BBS service where you can text and download programs and all sorts of stuff. So I think it would be cool to have like a newsletter. Back in the day, I don't remember the exact name of it, but it was an Atari newsletter, like ZNet or something like that, that once a week came out and it was text only, and it would be a number of pages of information and it would have all the up-to-date information before the magazines would get it. So cool to be able to, I, I think it was Genie uh, that I logged into. That was a very popular Atari, like CompuServe and Prodigy. I went the Genie route, although I was on all of them, I think, at one point, but Genie was the main one. I think it had a lot of Atari coverage, and I would check out this text newsletter once a week, and it would come out well before the magazines did, so I think it would be cool, even though this day and age, instant gratification on Facebook and the internet, you can get information to the second, it seems like. I think it would be cool if you use a service like this to um, get the information out on first, to build some traffic, get some people visiting there. And then maybe a few days later, come out with it on the, the broad internet and Facebook and everything. Anyway, I want to talk about Nextel. Briefly, though, if you're a Next fan, <coughs> great news this week. Uh, I think it was uh, update number 49. The keyboard update has been done, tested. They're saying it's working great. I guess that this keyboard membrane is being mailed to the people that really get this uh, whole Next out the door. They're going to do their final testing and make sure it all works good. So maybe in the next couple of weeks, there might be the go-ahead to start building in mass production the next. For all you Kickstarter folks that have had this, you're probably going crazy. Like, yeah, I'm going to finally get it. For those like me looking from the outside, I'm hoping a next uh, Kickstarter happens. Before the end of the year, that would be awesome. And if I can get my next in 2019 early, that would be awesome. Anyway, uh, that out of the way. Let's talk about the uh, Nextel service. I'm going to do a screencast on it, bring up some pages that you might want to visit, and actually bring up the web browser version of Nextel and kind of peek around, poke around. There's a game on there that you can actually download for the old Spectrum, which is what I'm currently using. Maybe do a quick little, hey, here's a game you can download on there, play. And I'm hoping this service really kicks off. And again, my thought is that if developers and and some folks in the now um, introduce stuff on this first before Facebook and before everything else might build a lot more traffic heading in that direction. So anyway, let's uh, do a screencast and we'll talk about some Nextel. All right, time to do a little bit of a screencast and uh, show off this um, Nextel that I was just talking about. So I've got a few websites that I recommend that you go ahead and visit. And uh, the first one is going to be the ZX Spectrum Next uh, site. Uh, it's got a nice uh, bit of information about uh, the designers and the coding and the graphics and who the heck is uh, making this Next uh, Nextel. 
And uh, I would recommend just kind of breezing through the um, pages here. There's some video links that kind of shows you a little bit about what it's about. Uh, but in a nutshell, it's uh, like it says here, Nextel is a complete video text BBS system using teletext graphics designed to be used by modern retro and mobile devices. We provide a dedicated client for the ZX Spectrum Next, a server and a page manager to create and editing content. So uh, recommend check out the ZX Spectrum Next site first uh, to kind of uh, gives you a quick little bit of information about what this Nextel is. The next is the actual FAQ or the website for uh, Nextel. It's actually at github.com and again I'll try to provide the uh, links down below so you can go to these and I'm sure there's a lot more sites and other things that you can visit uh, and YouTube videos that may be out there already on it. Uh, but go ahead and um, uh, check out this fact page. It uh, gets into the nitty gritty of uh, some questions about the Nextel, what it's about, who can use it, uh, and it's obviously for the Spectrum Next, and how do you get your Spectrum Next online. All things I hope to do one day, uh, but until then I'm going to have to just grace the site by checking out uh, it via a web a web page, which is what I'm going to do here in a moment. Uh, but I'm just going to slowly kind of breeze through this. You can go to the site uh, yourself and kind of check things out, read up about what uh, the Nextel service is about. Uh, so that's the GitHub page. I highly recommend going checking that out because this this is the one that gives you everything you need to know about the uh, service. So again, that's the fact, and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of links right over here that talks about the roadmap and everything about uh, Nextel service. Now, the main site I want to go to today is actually the way to connect with your web browser. So I'm, <coughs> I'm on my Mac uh, just uh, doing a webcast of this. And uh, here's the website that you'll go to, vd.view. Uh, I'll put the link uh, in down below. And uh, this is a cool way to connect and kind of get your uh, uh, bearing straight on what the heck this service will do once you've got your next. You'll see some links down below or some uh, parts of the website below that you really can't see. Um, but I'll kind of scroll to them later as I'm connecting. But what you're going to do once you're here, it gives you a welcome. Hey, welcome. You're to the new VD, uh, VD View or ViewTex. And you can click on this Help section which I think is a good idea if you're not familiar with how to use and connect to things once you're there check out this help section first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just browse up a little bit here or scroll up go over here to the word connect and click on connect I'm gonna scroll down here you'll see that it's connecting connecting to Nextel and once it's connected pop up comes welcome to Nextel view data server for the ZX Spectrum Next. Tells uh, I'm connected to Windy. I guess there's a name here, Windy. Uh, current time, la uh, last seen. And so what do you do from here? How do you kind of browse around here? So what you're going to do over here in the uh, this section, you can always go back to the home page by clicking on home. This kind of takes you back one step. Uh, this refreshes the screen. The pound key is basically kind of like the enter key. So if you hit the enter key on the keyboard or click pound up here, it kind of acts as uh, that enter key. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter uh, on my uh, keyboard because it does take some keyboard stuff. So I'm hitting enter or return. And now it takes me to the main screen of things that you can basically do. And they're numbered, 1, 2, through 9. So you'll see over here, there's 1 through 9 that you can actually click on to go to things. You can also type them in. So if you were to actually um, uh, type in up here numbers, it will take it. But since the number's right here one click away, why not just click them? Uh, so there's Nextel Atlas. So let's go there first. I'm clicking on 1. And it talks about we've taken all the fun out of Nextel and gone ahead and made you a map. So here's a map, and you'll see there's numbers 100 through 699, uh, and it talks about uh, information. You can just hit the Enter key on the keyboard or, again, that pound on the uh, little uh, green area up here, 
and it takes you to the next screen. And this is kind of, you, there's not tons of information here, at least I haven't been able to see it. But this is just a quick little uh, scroll through of the couple of pages that pop up when you hit the enter key. And it's explaining what the um, links or the numbering or pages are about. So I'll hit the enter key again and get down with all the latest happenings. Again, it gives you uh, page numbers and so on. And I believe this now starts looping around and just takes you back to, yep, the beginning of that. So uh, what I found is I like to go back to the home page. Then I just hit enter. And it takes me back to this. There may be a quicker way to get back to this, but I haven't figured it out yet. So let's go to Bitboozle next. So number two. So really cool graphics. I love the little graphics about uh, here. Presented by Bammer Boozle and Friends. Hi there, Teletext fans. I'm out of retirement to bamboozle you some more with some folks to help me on the way. So it says they're still really busy crafting the pages. So I, I have a feeling there's a lot of stuff that haven't been filled in. This is kind of like a, a template to say, hey, here's where things will end up down the road. Because if I hit uh, enter, it uh, takes me back to this page. So I don't think they have tons of stuff here yet. That's why my original thought back at the intro was hopefully some developers and such, you know, clamor onto here and show information here first so people will come here and this will become a much more broad uh, fun place to visit. Uh, let's go to number three. We'll just kind of go through each one here quickly. And this is an engineering test page. Um, I, I don't know much about this. I'm definitely no engineer. I'm just a, a typical dude that's connecting. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out of this. But I'm going to hit return and it, and it takes you through some color stuff. Things that I don't quite understand yet. So let's uh, the number of the daemon. I don't know quite what that is. Again, high tech stuff that I don't understand, but I thought I would take you there quickly. So number five, Tele Software. This is where you can download some programs. So if you had a Next, you could actually type in one. I don't have a Next yet, so I'm not going to go there. But there's some others, BBC and other. I'm going to go to number two. Uh, because that's where you can actually download something for a Spectrum, which I have and I can use. So uh, I'm going to click 2, and you'll see that there's two things on here. Hello World, which we pr pretty much everybody in the world knows what Hello World is. We've made our own Hel Hello World programs. But I'm going to go to Hall of Things, so I'm going to hit number 2. And it talks about Hall of Things, a ZX Spectrum, a, a larger ZX Spectrum game to test... Big Telesoftware downloads. <clears throat> so you can actually download this game, which is cool. So like I said, I'm on a Mac right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the return key. And it takes me to this. When I did that, what you'll notice is the start download button over here highlighted to where I can actually start the download now. So once I hit the return in the program that I was in, I can actually download this. So I'm going to go over here and click start download. And now it's downloading something. So we'll just sit here and let it go through its course. And I did this once, but I think if I remember right, it lets me save it to my desktop of my Mac, and then I can open it up. Looks like the Matrix. All these numbers popping up. <laughs> Let's scroll down here to download and see what's... And this, it just looks like these uh, log, kind of like a little logger down here that shows you what's going on. Getting closer. If I was on real internet, this would have been done hours ago. I'm on satellite internet, which means everything is times 50,000 in terms of speed. It's terrible. So I'm literally in the 80s almost for internet connectivity. So now it is successfully downloaded. So I'm not quite sure. Let me go look. Uh, did this actually just download to my uh, computer here? Yep. Looks like it did. This hot.z80. I'm going to drag it out to the desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Fuse popped up. 
I am now in the game that I just downloaded. So if you were on a Next, I guess this would be basically similar, that it would download right to your Next and you'd be able to go and launch it. I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, let me hit three for instructions. Search the tower for the seven rings and try not to get killed while doing it. Then find the key in the bottom level to escape. I'm just going to go ahead and hit return. Let's just go ahead and start the game because I don't want to play a whole game here. You guys will get bored with the video. I just wanted to show off next now. Please wait a moment. Looks like it's drawing in some stuff. Oh, God. Oh, so Z and X look like it moves you left and right. Oh, that was a sword. S is, look at that. That looks a little provocative. <laughs> uh, anyway, left and right. Uh, provocative S. <laughs> I'll leave it there. <laughs> Let me close out of that. Uh, that's funny. I'm going to quit out of Fuse. But you can see that I downloaded the game on my Mac and Fuse was able to bring up the game. So, cool. So, let's go to some other things. Let's hit um, 6. I'll just quickly go kind of through these screens. Let's go back to home. You kind of get the idea of what this uh, is about. You can log in. It's like an old bulletin board or BBS. And uh, let's go lastly to number nine, Teletext Art. Wow, that's neat colors. So it looks like there's three. Call a trill and a number. Let's go ahead. And, since this is number one, let's click number one. Introspective Pet Shop Boys. All right, let's try number two. Oh, well, that's kind of cool looking. The Babble Fish is small. Let's do number three last. Rubik's Cube. Hit return. And let's go back to home. So you kind of get the gist of it. So I'm now on a Mac connecting to this bulletin board service. So start checking it out now before you even get your next for those like me. Hopefully this uh, site gets really busy with all sorts of new information. In fact, I'd be happy to help once I get a next and maybe I can participate in some way, even though I'm a noob uh, with spectrums. Uh, everybody, I guess, is going to be technically a noob to next, right? So I won't be that, even though the next boards have been out for a long time. Uh, anybody buying the next for the first time are, are going to be noobs, so I'll be a, just a noob along with them, I guess. Anyway, so that's my screencast. We'll go ahead and stop things there. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Hugo, TJ's uh, twin brother, the better looking version that's all shaven and everything like that. And thanks for checking out this video. Go check out Nextel. I'll put the links down below and have a wonderful weekend.